Look what I got. <laughs> My wedding dress. Hello ladies and random gentlemen scratching your head wondering how you got here. I'm Holly and today I'm gonna tell you all about my experience finding the one. In this case, the wedding dress. So honestly, I thought it was gonna be super hard for me to choose the right style just because when I was little I would look through all those bridal magazines and I liked everything. Every single style I was like, oh wait, that one's better than the last one. I loved tulle, I loved lace, I loved the princess cut, the mermaid cut, long sleeve, short sleeve, strapless, you name it, I was into it. But surprisingly enough, it was super clear to me which dresses weren't for me and which dress was the one. Kind of like when I met Ben. Okay, so my first bit of advice for you would be to get a good idea of what styles you like, at least on models. It's gonna be different when you get them on yourself, but definitely do your fair share of flipping through magazines, looking at wedding blogs, Pinterest, etc. After clicking around for quite a bit, I realized that I love Pronovia dresses. Even though they're a little on the pricey side, I definitely wanted them sort of as inspiration for when I went shopping for my actual dress. I ended up downloading the app and they allow you to save your favorite looks into my dressing room. And if you go through them, you start noticing quite a trend, quite a pattern. You see that the dresses I chose have lots and lots of lace, no real embellishments other than the lace. Some beautiful tulle is always a key factor. And definitely you can see that I love both the princess cut and the mermaid cut. And obviously when you're thinking about what kind of gown you want, you're gonna think about where you're gonna actually be getting married. In our case, it's gonna be on the beach. This should play an important role, but at the same time, your dress is your dress. So if you wanna be a princess on the beach, you go ahead and do that. My next bit of advice would be to choose a good shop, preferably near your house <laughs> or somewhere in the vicinity that you can drive to. I do not think it's a good idea ever to buy a wedding dress online. I thought about it for a second because I was gonna save thousands and thousands of dollars, but I probably saved thousands and thousands of tears not doing so. I don't even know how legit those sites are anyway. I think it was some Chinese site and I've heard horror stories about the dresses coming out terribly. So anyway, I don't even know why I thought about it. Temporary lapse in judgment. I probably just wanted to save money and spend it on food for the guests and myself. So yes, you want to get yourself to a good shop, uh, find a place that carries some of the designers that you like. Definitely check out Yelp for reviews to see if the customer service is up to par if it's a place you'd like to spend time in. I think being able to see reviews by people we don't even know is amazing and it's something that we didn't have 20 years back and it should help us give business to the businesses that deserve it. Anyway, through Yelp I found several places that carried some of the designers I wanted to check out and through the reviews I was able to narrow it down to this place called Parvani Vita. Most of these places are by appointment only so make sure that you do that and try to get a few girlfriends or family members to come along with you. I think that's super key because not only do you want a second opinion this is all about the experience. This is something that you're gonna do once in a lifetime and you want your friends there with you. A few tips for the day of wear your hair the way that you're planning on wearing it at the wedding just so that you can get the general feel of how you're gonna look. If you're gonna be wearing heels you might want to consider wearing heels that are about the same height although you'll go through all of that when you end up doing the alterations which is further on down the road you might want to get dolled up with your makeup so that it's even more true to life and once you get there help the attendant help you give them as much information as you can about what you're looking for the context of your wedding how you envision yourself what textures you like just any information that can help them pick out the best selection for you to try on it's kind of like when you go for a hair appointment one thing is saying chop my hair off and dye it red another thing is showing them two three four five pictures of exactly how you want it to look in the end next you're gonna get to wander through the store with your friends picking out random dresses that catch your eye invite them to pick one or two that they'd love to see you try on as well if you want the attendant usually will also pick a few dresses for you and definitely try them all on and here's why for some reason, I was super anti-strapless. I told the attendant, I don't wanna look sexy, I wanna look pretty. And in my mind in that moment, for some weird reason, that meant I need straps or sleeves. So when she brought in a dress that was outside of the parameters that I had given her, I didn't even wanna try it even though I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Just because I was scared, it would look too sexy. Well, guess what? That's the dress that I ended up falling in love with. So yeah, go outside the little box that you've constructed for yourself and you might be surprised. So as far as my experience, I went to this store, Parvani Vita, probably like two weeks after I got engaged just to get my feet wet, just to see what all was out there and how dresses looked on me since it's something that I had never really done. And by never really done, I mean never done. <laughs> And as I was trying on the dresses, I was like, okay, this looks nice on me, this is cool. Some of them were like, okay, that's me in a white dress, whatever. But when I tried on the dress that I ended up buying, 
My entire face lit up, I'm not even joking. And when I walked out of the dressing room, I could swear there was a collective gasp. And I'm not trying to say like, oh, I looked so amazing, I took their breath away. But I really feel like this dress was made for me. My friends were super sweet. It was their favorite as soon as they saw it on me, but they didn't tell me that until I had told them that I had chosen it. I remember my friend Kristen letting out a sigh of relief and saying, I really wanted to tell you that that was the one, but I wanted you to choose it first. They were so sweet. Even the attendant was like, I want friends like that. Both of them are copywriters, and every time I'd come out of the dressing room with a new dress on, they would describe it perfectly. I remember at one point them being like, see, that one's more of a ceremony, but that other one is more of a celebration. I ended up going with the celebration. <laughs> All in all, when you're budgeting, I think it's important to not just look at the price tag, but to also add on maybe a thousand more dollars. That's what I ended up paying just for alterations, taxes, and the veil. Oh my goodness, the veil. When I was about 70% sure that I wanted my dress, she put the veil on me and it was done. It was over. <laughs> anyway, I'm super excited to share all those moments with you guys. Obviously in this video, you're not gonna see my real dress, but you can get a little taste of what it was like to go through the whole process of trying to find it. And honestly, I shouldn't even say the whole process. It took me like an hour, and I know it doesn't happen that quickly for everyone. If I hadn't tried on that dress that day, I would have had to keep searching for it too. So just know that when you find it, you'll know. <laughs> Is that even comforting? I'm not sure. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me on this crazy journey, and don't forget to stay tuned for more video updates all about my wedding. It's just over a month away. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon. I build my love. Like a castle in the sand, no one comes down It comes tumbling to the ground when she speaks It's a dangerous fantasy, sets me free It's where I wanna be She sets me free where I wanna be, wanna be She sets me free and her hair Glows like a lighter in the wind And I lose my senses, baby She gets under my skin When she speaks She's all I'll ever need She sets me free uh Oh oh To where I wanna be I wanna be